China is grappling with a surge in COVID-19 cases, and this has put the country's health care under a lot of strain. Due to this, the government, which has been stringent about the China's zero COVID approach, has been prompted to impose lockdowns across the country. However, the outbreak has sparked debate over China's plan of action. This as the country has logged more than 56,000 cases since the 1st of March. And the northeastern Jilin province accounts for the majority of the cases. So what is this China's zero COVID strategy? The strategy relies on lockdowns and mass testing, where millions of people are restricted to their homes. It basically focuses on eradicating community transmission of COVID-19. And according to the government, an ease in restrictions could amplify the surge in cases. China has reported over 5,600 locally acquired cases in the last 24 hours, and the majority of these cases were logged in Jilin. Shanghai, which was the crown jewel of China in the zero COVID approach, has reported 2,269 new cases as well. The city of 26 million people has now become the testing ground for China's ability to control flare-ups of the Omicron variant. Hong Kong has reported 10,401 new cases in the last 24 hours. The situation remains grim on the ground. The restrictions due to the outbreak have sparked anger among residents. People are struggling to secure fresh food since at least 25 million people across four cities are under lockdown. Meanwhile, high hospitalization rate has left patients waiting in loading bays and car parks. Restrictions in Shanghai and Shenzhen, which accounts for more than 16% of China's exports, have also raised an alarm about supply chains. However, at a daily Shanghai press conference, officials also alluded to the importance of avoiding a full lockdown of the huge port city. Shanghai has aimed to ease disruption with a more targeted approach. It has rolled out 48-hour lockdowns of individual neighborhoods but they will keep on running the metropolis region. According to the national data, over 52 million aged above 60 are yet to be vaccinated. The rate of booster shots remains low as well. Only 56.4% of people aged between 60 and 69 have received the shot. As of now, over 27,000 people are hospitalized and over 50 patients remain in critical condition. In a bid to fight against the surge, the country has rolled out rapid antigen self-test kits for the first time. But the Chinese government has remained ambiguous about the zero COVID strategy result. Now, they are adamant to stick to the plan and are waiting for the COVID virus to either mutate into something less dangerous or for the easing of the outbreak overseas. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.